Hello and welcome to Algeria Tomorrow. In this episode, you will see that Algeria is betting on startups to boost its economy. More and more entrepreneurs are starting businesses, sometimes with great ambitions. This is the case of Yasir, a transport service already operating in several countries in the region. The company Yasir is a pioneer of vehicle for hire in Algeria, where it was founded in 2017 by two childhood friends. It now has 6 million users in the country and more than 40,000 partner drivers. The group raised $30 million from investors last year and already offers its services across the Maghreb, West Africa, Europe and Canada. Yazir was the first to launch a vehicle for hire service in Algeria. Since then there has been competition and this even created a vehicle for hire market in Algeria and this created many jobs. You can look around, there are many young people here. Yazir is a tree that hides a forest of Algerian young tech companies, gradually freed from bureaucratic constraints and encouraged to take risks. The number of confirmed startups has doubled this year, and they are all aware of Algeria Venture, a public accelerator that helps project holders to scale up, raise funds, and solve problems. We open innovation. What does this mean? It means that we give them the means to access the market to companies, which they often saw as close off to them. Today we give them the means to access these companies with solutions, to knock on their door, to solve their problems, to get order forms, to find markets. Algeria Venture is where startups are officially registered, and it's also here that the tech players can meet and generate partnerships. Bain's growth is consistent with the expansion of the fintech sector in Algeria. The company offers solutions to major national and international banking groups and has launched its own solution for money transfers between individuals. Bain is a company that needs startups to complete its offer. Until now, I didn't have access to these people. I didn't know they existed. Maybe they existed, but they were hidden. Now they are there, the ecosystem is there, and the communication channels are getting better and better. And this is also thanks to conferences organized across the country. The young Aisha Chabna was noticed at one of these. The young woman is banking on circular economy. From the skins recovered in slaughterhouses, she intends to produce halal animal gelatin for food, pharmaceutical and cosmetic sectors. We had the opportunity to be accelerated at a venture. We're here to get soft skills development training to convince partners to have visibility. It really helps us to be better entrepreneurs. To unleash an economy that has long been dependent on hydrocarbons, Algeria has created a ministry of startups, the first one in the region. It is headed by Yassine El Mahad Walid, a 29 year old former startup entrepreneur. Minister, you were an entrepreneur yourself. What problems did you encounter and then seek to solve? We started by putting in place a regulatory framework, a legal framework conducive to the development of startups. This legal framework now allows them to benefit from considerable tax advantages. These efforts have also led to profound reforms of Algerian regulations, laws that allow project leaders to raise funds more easily, to have much healthier relationships with their investors, to be able to raise funds from abroad and export their services. What do you think will be the role of the Algerian startup ecosystem in Africa? The African market, as you know, is a huge market that's evolving rapidly. For many sectors such as fintech, it is the market that is experiencing the greatest evolution in the world, and it's the natural market for Algeria. We hope that today's startups will be the champions of tomorrow's economy, that they enable Algeria to position itself as an essential pole of new technologies in Africa. We want Algeria, which in the past was the mecca of revolutionaries, to be the mecca of new technology enthusiasts and allow startups to develop in Africa. It's here in Algiers that the first edition of Africa Disrupt, a trade fair that will bring together the main continental players in innovation, will take place later this year. That's all for this episode. Thank you for following it. We'll see you very soon in Algeria tomorrow. <laughs>